Hey Torinos, I stopped at the first yard sale of 2023 and you know just driving up confidence was not high but sure enough there was a whole table of tools. So you never know, that's why you always have to look. Uh, I got this very interesting crowbar, pry bar, uh, it's very pitted so I don't know that I'm going to find any kind of name or maker's mark or anything on it, but I'm not really sure what this specific end was for. Uh, I don't know if it's for handling manhole covers or getting out uh, storm sewer iron grates or what. I don't know. If anybody knows or has another suggestion let me know in the comments please. Uh, this one here is like a tire spoon type tool. It's just uh, pointy at that end. This end has kind of an odd shape. Um, I'm assuming this is for tire work. If anyone else knows, please let me know in the comments. Alright, I picked up these two drills, uh, drill bits. The ends are, you know, similar but different sizes. And uh, initially I just saw, oh, one is for like an old brace and one is for a normal chuck. But uh, no, uh, they have a name brand here in the middle and they're the same. And this one is shorter, so... This one was just cut off so they could use it in a regular drill chuck. Alright, I can tell it says green. And this one says forged USA. But what exactly it says after green? There's a little mark there. I don't know what that is. Let's see what the bigger one looks like green looks like made in underneath it and USA at the top there after green speedometer cable lubricant so it's like a grease and uh, still seems still squishy in there so we could use it for cable lubricant I'm sure for the go-karts and stuff Desert Storm Pro Set. Alright, you can always use safety glasses, especially when they're Toyota branded, right? Into the tools. Alright, here's like a little mini bolt cutter. It doesn't open very far, even when you take this little strap off. It doesn't open very far. But it says Korea. And I don't have much in the way of tools from Korea. I'm assuming South Korea. Uh, you know, they more or less work. Could use a little adjustment. This I just got for cleaning up. Uh, cleaning the dust and dirt out of maybe motors and stuff because you need a soft bristle brush because you don't want to damage the windings or anything. And, uh,. Not sure what that says. Maybe the camera will help to read it. Alright, so I thought these were a great find. Reversible blue point snap ring pliers. Uh, but I grabbed them without looking too closely at the tip, unfortunately. Maybe I can reprofile them. They won't have as much reach, but uh, maybe I could still use them. Well, exacto knife set. Maybe I could put them in that Toulousian set from uh, Harbor Freight where the handles just broke, because I'm sure those are good handles. This was just an interesting kind of a slip joint. It's got this grip side, and it's got a cutter, and, you know, I don't know, it was 50 cents, you know. And we got some needle nose here. They're tight. They're not bent, the cutters are still good, and it is a Utica. can clean it up more and find a little more numbers and stuff on it possibly, but it's Utica. Uh, anyway, so I bought this. It's all beat up, you know, the handle's long gone. I think it even has a bend to it, but I bought it because it says Ohio King. And here's a nice little set of snips. Again, I think this was out of the 50 cent bin. And it says uh, Bluebird, Made in USA, number three, 
maybe number seven. I got this good, long, nice, big set of uh, dividers. Uh, it says uh, number 10, so maybe that's 10 inches. There we go. Pexto, made in USA. But it's got this interesting feature. Um, you know, it's got these little tick marks along here. It's missing probably a knurled knob right there to tighten it. But then there's a spring here and another nice brass, I think, uh, knurled knob here that will make a fine adjustment by pushing or pulling that out and keeping it under spring tension. So I feel like, you know, you do your basic adjustment with this and then you can do a fine adjustment with this. So I thought, well, that's kind of cool. That'll be a neat tool to, to fix up and uh, maybe get a brass a brass knob to put in there. I thought this was a little cooler than I think it turned out to be. Uh, Craftsman 40809 made in USA. The it's a feeler gauge of course but they, they I thought they were brass. Maybe they are but with this corrosion on there I thought well maybe it's just brass coated. I don't know. They're a mess. Not sure if that'll really clean up and be a, a a decent usable tool or not. We'll see. And just got a nice hunk of brass for uh, hitting things, hopefully without damaging them. And this is a brass T handle for maybe a valve on a acetylene tank or something like that. Has a little bend, but I can straighten that out. And here was an interesting uh, propane torch. I'm not sure what the point of it is. If it just blows a big flame that's not well focused. I don't know what that's for. But it does have a uh, patent number. US patent number. And Canadian patent number. So. I look up the patent. Alright, now these are cool. Uh, that does have a number here. Um, looks like 311-5. Something like that. And they are a very thin delicate looking but actually quite strong duckbill style flat smooth needle nose <laughs> plier and it's a Klein see Klein and Sons so I'm not sure what you would use that for uh, to do electrical work so if anyone knows what electrical thing you would do some sort of bending of something I assume let me know in the comments okay I found another one of these wood uh, scaled cutters you would loosen this and move the blade change the blade it pokes all the way through the handle so I don't know it just seems interesting I, I think uh on a previous video, I got one of these where the scales are jacked up, and I thought, oh, I could fix that up. Well, I think I'll fix this one up. <laughs> and then here's another one of the same exact sort of thing, but it's a different brand. It has brass screws in here. It's thinner, uh, but it appears to work the same way. So, I don't know. Maybe a knockoff version, but still looks well made. And this is a magnet. So it's just a magnet on the end of a stick with some knurling and a little pocket clippy or whatever. So if you drop something somewhere, you can hopefully get it out with the magnet. Another one of these uh, little Stanley ratcheting short screwdrivers for a tight space. It works. It's reversible. So... I don't know. I think I've 
I think I've got enough of these at this point. And I found this cool cutter. You loosen this, and they can slide the blade out. Tighten it back up. And uh, there's extra blades in the handle, a little pack including some new ones. And it says here, um, Kato. And it's got a patent number. So, Chicago 23, you know that's pre-1963 or whatever when the zip codes came out. And then last but not least, a hide um, scraper slash putty knife. It's pretty flexy, so more like a putty knife I'd say, but definitely appears to have been used as a scraper. And it's very thin and it's sharp on all these edges here, so it would probably be a really good scraper. It's a, kind of a neat plastic handle with the brass rivets. I thought that would kind of clean up real nice and make for uh, a really good scraper. All right, that was it. $20. I think it was worth it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I have some similar things, but I've never seen this kind. And the package is a mess, so I'm going to open it. Tomahawk Cruise Missile, USS America, National Security Act. Ugh. Diego Garcia, it's in the Indian Ocean, B-52, Farragut class destroyer, Arabic language. Okay. United Nations. Morocco. Okay. Not sure what Morocco has to do with Desert Storm. But, you know. I guess they thought these were cool back then. 